Smart SPL, and version 8.4 and later, have a built-in SPL web server that allows SPL meters and history plots to be viewed on other devices connected to the network. Devices connect through a standard web browser, so no smart software needs to be installed on remote machines. To begin, SPL logging must be active. Next, enable the web server API. Choose Options, API, and check Enabled. If desired, you can password protect access to the web server. Click Apply to start the web server and note that the status indicator turns green. You'll also want to confirm that the web server is accessible through any firewalls. Note the IP address, host name, and port number of the web server, which you will need to connect from other devices. Hovering your cursor over the IP address in the API Options dialog will show you the IP addresses of all connected network adapters on the host computer. But in most cases, the main displayed IP address will be the proper one. To run the web viewer on a client device, ensure that you are connected to the same network, and then open a web browser. Enter either the IP address and port, or host name and port. To connect to the web server from the same machine that is running Smart, you can also use localhost as the host name. Make sure to disable adblock plugins for proper performance. The web viewer can operate on local area networks and show production networks without the need for an active internet connection. However, with internet access and proper network configuration, the web viewer can be accessed from any connected device anywhere in the world. It can also be accessed via tablets and smartphones. The web API has access to all inputs and measurement types that are configured for logging in the host smart session. You can create any number of real-time meters and also view up to 30 minutes of SPL history for two metrics on a selected input channel. The web API also includes a clock widget that tells you the current machine time on the computer running smart. To create a meter module, click the Create Meter button in the upper right corner of the page, then select the desired input and metric you wish to monitor using the drop list controls on the meter. The white and black buttons select the light or dark color scheme, and the frames per second selector sets the update speed for the meters from 1 to 8 times per second. Use the drop list controls to the right of the history plot to choose the displayed time range and two metrics of your choice.